Hey there. Uh, back again. I'm just about to get ready for uh, my next uh, web workshop. But uh, I went on a grocery run uh, earlier today and this is some of the things that happened. Apart from that, I found out that the Aeon uh, Electronics Store was open. So I took a chance, I went there and I got checked this out. This is my new headset. It's a USB headset which means that it is completely awesome. And the audio that I'm going to be able to get out of this is going to be super. And uh, I, uh, I tested it out just now and it was amazing. So check this out. Let's, let me set this all up and start recording. Because now I am going to talk here and we're going to switch the audio from the microphone connected to my camera to this one in three two one and go and now we are using this microphone which is completely awesome what is it this is the hg11 captain 7.1 fan tech um usb gaming microphone so people use this for gaming so when i went to buy it the guy at the shop said bang this looks a bit big for you and i said well it's okay and it does look a bit big but i can tell you the sound quality is awesome here so this is unprocessed sound coming from this mic which i'm recording on audacity and now we are about to switch to the fully processed sound on audacity on three two one and switch can you check that out listen to the quality of the voice this is just awesome i am a happy camper because though i i think i got the visual pretty much sorted out and everything is okay but uh, getting uh, the audio was a bit of a problem and now i can switch from here and we can have this view and uh, and everything is now uh, nearly uh, as perfect and as excellent as I can get it right now and that's an awesome feeling so it's 2.34 I got 26 minutes I want to get ready I just wanted to share that with you and hey you know if you guys are doing uh web conferences web meetings and all of that and you're relying on the onboard microphone and speaker system or your laptop or you're relying on the uh hands-free headset you guys you gotta get a usb headset because it's just going to take your audio to a completely different level okay so do that and i'll see you later Hey there, day 39 of the movement control order uh, and uh, I'm feeling a little bit exhausted, a lot exhausted actually. Uh, it's nearly Zohor time and the second day of Ramadan. I feel I'm feeling the impact of the work that I've been doing this week. Uh, it's satisfying but it is exhausting. So I've been uploading a lot of videos and uh, doing a lot of new things uh, with uh, with this channel. I'm starting to uh, upload excerpts from my workshop that I've been conducting this week, and uh, I'm I'm thinking that you know the I'm I'm I am pretty happy with the way things are moving as far as this channel is concerned, although. Uh, being stuck at 79 subscribers is, I suppose, uh, uh, could be disheartening. 
uh, but I am uh, I'm not really bothered I, I you know I look at the subscriber number and I thought that I would be bothered at the fact that it's not moving but I am trying out so many new things and I'm becoming more confident uh, talking to the camera which was the primary intention of starting to do this anyway and I am so over the moon at the fact that I'm now able to start um, videoing my content the things that I do at the workshop that I've tried to in the past uh, video and upload uh, but but never at the level that I'm happy with and now with this um, uh, web workshop that I'm doing it's, it's coming together quite nicely uh, and the idea that I'll be able to record uh, the modules that I have designed and be able to share it with the world is quite satisfying uh, and uh, I am starting beginning to see other things in the future and I think uh, I want to start doing more uh, web workshops and, and coming up with new content and, uh, and doing uh, live uh, open webinars I think that would be interesting Although I do have a little bit nagging on my mind because the current web workshop that I'm doing is for five participants. So I'm able to engage with each of them uh, directly. But you know what, what I need to think about what I'm going to do when there's 10 people, 20 people, 50 people or 100 people. I can't exactly interact with all of them to make sure that they are with me. Uh, but you know, it's an interesting and nice problem to have. Uh, so um, it is. It looks like it's going to rain today. Uh, today is. I'm just going to take it easy. I'm going to edit some of the workshop videos. I've already uploaded one, Introduction to Mental Toughness, Part One, of I think uh, a series of eight workshops, eight parts to the workshop, uh, and that's and that's a core part of the take charge mindset workshop that I conduct all right so I think it is time to get ready for the whole time so I'll see you later hey hey there uh, back again it is just gone past Asar and uh, I gotta admit I am having so many challenges in this Ramadan it's only day two but I feel physically tired I'm, I just feel lethargic uh, and I'm also not in the particularly best of moods at the moment. And, you know, I'm feeling tired. Uh, my body is feeling tired. I'm feeling a little bit moody. And, you know, I don't feel like doing anything productive. I managed to upload one video this morning and that was it. And now I just feel the word that I can say. Is I just feel meh, meh, meh. So I haven't, I can't remember a time, a Ramadan where I felt this challenge uh, since I was uh, uh, a, a young boy. So I am not sure maybe it's a combination of the movement control order and the stress that comes with it or some uh, things or some worries that's coming across my mind from work. Um, so, but it's something to keep an eye on and it's something to 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 monitor and, and make sure it doesn't get out of hand. Uh, now it's not the best time to get sick. Now it's not the best time to get moody. So that's what's happening with me. Day two of Ramadan. <laughs> I would say a prayer for you and for me that all of us are granted sabar and patience in this very trying Ramadan. And uh, I hope things uh, will turn out okay. Uh, the MCO has been extended up till the 12th of May, if I'm not mistaken. So that would take us into phase four. But the news lately from the Ministry of Health and from everybody else has been uh, optimistic. Uh, but I reserve my optimism until uh, things actually do get better. But I do hope and I pray that this challenge that is upon us passes quickly and if it doesn't then we then we are given 
the strength, the courage, and the sabar, and the patience to get through it. Um, so I'm going to end this vlog now. I think uh, quickly up edit it and upload it, and uh, get ready for the third day of Ramadan. See you.